welcome back to another video of power automate so in this video what we are trying to do so this is our actual sheet and here we having some invoice detail okay now if suppose i want to select this uh, row and then this contained this invoice detail should be sent to a to on customer email address like customer invoice number customer name quantity price and item number so how we will do this i'll select this row and i will go on this automate and this automate feature is not available in even account now i will click on automate work so whenever i will click on automate work here i created a flow so once i will click on this run flow here is notes hey please approve okay now once i will click on this run flow and this workflow is completed done and here you, here you can see the email sent status is automatically as yes and if i'll open my email address my email box then here you can see just we got one email and this email saying hey pragati please find the invoice detail below so this is the invoice detail that we are reading from our excel sheet okay so here is our excel sheet or uh, this one okay now how we'll do that uh let's close this okay this is uh, another invoice and here we don't have any flow okay let me create one flow over here so how we'll get this option basically so you can close this now you can click this automate work then here you can see you will get all template i want to click on see all templates and then here is our for a select row complete a custom action so this we will choose and we will click on this continue button and then from location the file um i'm having on one drive okay then i'll go on one drive the file name this is our invoice detail file i'll show you invoice detail you can see here okay then the table is 2 next step then outlook v2 from outlook v2 i'll send an email then this email will be triggered on dynamically on that customer email customer email is from you know excel and this will be invoice detail and then here will be invoice number okay then one more thing uh, you know i share the notes so notes is basically we can go over here and here we can uh, get the notes from the user and then here i will bind the notes and this will be notes from notes okay invoice guys ignore my spelling mistakes okay now in the invoice number invoice number then customer name customer name then price price then quantity quantity one more thing item name that we forget item name all right and here will be your signature whatever you know like uh, we can provide from current current user then i will go and i need to update the you know that status as well so update excel excel okay then update a row and here the same i'll choose from one drive from one drive then the file invoice detail and then table 
table 2 and then key column invoice number because invoice number is a key column basically so that's a primary key kind of and on the basis of uh, invoice number we will update the email sent status so this is email sent status I'll click on save here is our workflow let me just change the uh, Excel sent email from Excel so let me save it again saved now let me close it again and let me reopen it again send email from Excel so now what I will do I will select this row okay now I will run this and then here it will ask me for sign in for first time please enter your input so hey this is approved invoice okay click on run flow and this is done so whenever you will click on done you know uh, that then you can see the email sent status is yes automatically you don't know to do you don't need to do anything and then here I'll go and here is the invoice you can see this just we got this invoice and this is hi Pragati please find the invoice detail and this is the invoice detail and notes hey this is approved invoice and the same data you can see over here okay so I hope you like this video if you like this video then please subscribe my channel thank you and bye bye